And when he draws, he will bless. That's what he does. Amen. Hey, amen. Look at this real quick. And then we're almost finished here. Nehemiah. Into the book of Nehemiah. Love this, this story. Matter of fact, there's some teachings in Nehemiah that have so graced our life and our ministry. Um, and I celebrate God. Nehemiah chapter 2. And of course we know Nehemiah's plight. He had heard about the city, about the walls, and about the people. And he was ready to do something about it. But where did that come from? That came to him intuitively. He remembered his history. He dealt with that. That intuition caused him to, again, feel the passion and the fire to get ready to go out there and do what he had to do. Hey, amen, somebody. And then he, as he looked back, he wanted to move forward. He knew something had to give and something had to be done. So he goes to the king one day and he's standing in front of the king. The king's like, I've never seen you like this. And he knew then. He knew then. Can we ask you a question? Somebody knowing something going on in your life? Because, see, that means that you're consistent. You're a person of integrity. And so, therefore, that's what Nehemiah represented. And now all of a sudden, beginning at verse number four, after the king had asked him, man, what can we do? He said, the king said unto me, for what does thou make request? What did he do? Pray to I prayed to the God of heaven. Yeah. You know, we call that, and this is what we love. Never forget this, it's called the HGP. HGP. What in the world is that? That's called the Holy Ghost Paul. <laughs> the Holy Ghost Paul. That's when all of a sudden, instead of saying something and doing something, when somebody asks you, you just... No. Why, why are we pausing? Because I'm waiting on God to formulate a response for him. Swift to hear. Slow to see. Holy Ghost Paul. I, did you, would you repeat what you just said so I can understand what you said? Now, would you repeat it backwards? Uh-oh. So I prayed. I prayed to the God of heaven. Yeah. And I said unto the king, if it please the king, watch the strategy. And if, I, if thy servant had found favor in thy sight, thou, thou wouldst send me unto Judah, unto the city of my father's sepulchres, that I may build it. Notice his history. He's like, i got to get back. we got to do something about it. The king said unto me, the queen also sitting by him, for how long shall the journey be, and when will thou return? So it pleased the king to send me, and I set him a time. Verse 7 says, Moreover, I said unto the king, if it pleased the king, let letters be given me to the governors beyond the river, that they may convey me over till I come into Judah. And the list goes on and on. Keep reading for us, please. I gotta bring this back up. Go ahead. And I let us the keeper of the king's forest, that he may give me timber to make beans for the gates of the palace, which pertain to the house, and for the wall of the city. And, and for the house, house that I shall enter into. And the king granted me according to the good hand of my God upon me. Uh huh. Then I came to the governors beyond the river and gave them what? The king's letters. Now the king had sent captains of the army and horsemen with me. And when Sandalic the Horonite and Tobiah the servant the Ammonite heard of it, it grieved them exceedingly. That there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children. Nehemiah had a strategy. When the king asked him, what would you do, have me to do? He knew what he wanted to do. Why? Because he had a strategy. And when you have a strategy and you know that the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Yeah. As rivers of water, he turned it with us whatever he wills. Then you know now you're about to operate in the favor of God upon your life and upon that ministry. Yes. That's the way God operates. Yeah. Where there is a strategy, where there is a vision, you can expect God's favor. Who wants the favor of God today? Yeah. Ah, glory to God. I don't know about you, I love faith. Yeah. We shared on the broadcast on TV and, and clipped the star laughing. I thought we thought we'd rather have favor than finance. Amen. Because when finances run out, favor never runs out. Never run. Favor will compass you like a shield according to Psalm 5 and 12. Favor will keep get you in places that no man can open up for you. Favor will get you cars that you've never driven on and bought on your own. Favor will pay your bills. Favor. Favor. 
And this is what Nehemiah experienced. Because he had a strategy, he also experienced the very favor of God. 